Good day, welcome to another edition of Ultimate Politics. We're here today with Luis Toro of Colorado Ethics Watch. Luis, welcome. Thanks for having me. So, we're back again talking about another issue with Mike Kaufman, who many of you guys know was the Secretary of State. Tell us about where we're at now with this investigation. With Mike Kaufman, we filed a complaint with the, the new Independent Ethics Commission a year ago. The basis of the complaint was about two conflicts of interest that we perceived in his office. The first one involved a man named Dan Kopelman, who was the elections technology director for mm -hmm. the elections division. He, was, he had that job, and at the same time, he was running a side business called Political Live Wires that was a Republican Party consulting business, and we found that he was even sending his regular email updates to Secretary Kaufman. Yeah. So obviously it was beneficial to Kaufman to have his political right-hand man in the office uh, you know, as he was running the Secretary of State's office, but that's a conflict of interest. We filed this complaint about the Kopelman situation and an, another conflict of interest in the Secretary of State's office. The, the complaint sat around for months. When the commission finally picked it up, they took a look at it and said, this is not a frivolous complaint. This should go to a hearing. So they gave a bipartisan commission. That's correct. It's, it's two Republicans, two Democrats, and an independent. So we've been looking to the Independent Ethics Commission as being a place that will they can't enforce criminal law, they can't put anybody in jail, but they can say this is a standard of conduct and there's an ethical issue that's arisen about it and we're going to say is this a violation or is it not and they can issue a censure resolution and that, that's basically saying you know, we're the Ethics Commission in the state of Colorado and we think you committed an ethical violation, that's what we're asking them to do. The, the other conflict was that the, there was a, one of the voting machine vendors, you may recall, there was the whole drama of certifying voting machines. One of those companies, Premier, that used to be known as Diebold, hired a lobbyist, uh, a lobbying firm called uh, Phase Line Strategies. Well, that same firm had been hired by Secretary of State Kaufman to run his campaign for Congress. So when he certified Premier's voting machines, their lobbying firm was his campaign manager. We think that's a conflict of interest. And well, we it, it's, it is a conflict of interest, there's no, no <laughs> doubt about it. I think, I think that what Secretary Kaufman should have done was terminate his relationship with Phase Line when he, you know, when he knew that Phase Line was also representing Diebold Premier. What he should have done was say, I can't work with you, sorry, and then go on and make a decision about the certification without, and then there wouldn't have been a conflict. So politically, long term, and, and this is also what we've seen with the Bush administration, we need to have an investigation just so the next person that ha is in that position won't be able to say, well, he got away with it, I can do it too. You know, it'll be, there'll be a, a precedent set. Well, exactly, and that's the, this lawsuit that, that Mike Kaufman has filed you know, potentially could be a very important case as far as saying yes there's going to be a we're going to actually have an ethics commission in colorado that really does something that really strongly reviews people's actions what's the political fallout for mike kaufman you know that's for the the voters to decide we're more concerned with the effect it's going to have on other public officials going forward that when they take an action i want it to be in the back of their minds if I do something that's an ethical violation, am I going to get hauled before the Ethics Commission? Am I going to be censured for violating an ethics rule? We want it to deter other public officials' conduct, whether it's because they're pure-hearted or because they're afraid they're going to get hauled before the Independent Ethics Commission. I don't really care. I just want them to, to follow the rules that are applicable to their office. Well, Louise, thanks for uh, talking with us today. And uh, good luck. We'll be Thank fo you. following the story as we get closer to March 6th. This has been Ultimate Politics. I'm your host, Wade Norris. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.